the city of Indianapolis is reeling from 24 hours of violence all across the city. In that short time span, six people were killed in five separate shootings. You can see the locations of those shootings on this map. The latest shooting happening around 930 last night near 10th and Tuxedo on the city's east side. IMPD saying paramedics were called to the scene and pronounced the victim dead at the scene. The victim's identity and what led up to the shooting is still being investigated. Well, shortly before that, a 17-year-old boy was the victim of gunfire on the city's east side. The teen was killed in a drive-by near 34th and Franklin. Investigators tell RTV6 that a driver pulled up and started shooting from inside the car as the teen was walking with a friend. This morning, the search for that shooter continues. Police say that they do not have a clear description of the suspect's vehicle. Community leaders are pleading for the gun violence to stop. This is troubling, this is outrageous, and we gotta respond to this as a city. Um, leaders, we have to come together and we have to really say, this cannot be acceptable and, and, and tolerated in our city. Well, the teen died at the scene. If you know anything that could help lead to an arrest in this case, please call Crime Stoppers. You can find a complete breakdown of all the violence over the weekend right now on the RTV6 app and the IndyChannel.com. And as the city deals with this violence, IMPD is launching a new effort to cut back on gun crimes. The goal is to cut down on the number of shootings and the guns used in those crimes. It starts by connecting the dots from guns used in shootings to other crimes across the city city and even the nation. But the big question, will it actually work? Yeah, and our Paris LaBelle joining us live this morning. Paris, this new program looks at where the guns are coming from and when they're used, right? Yeah, Lauren and Meredith, good morning. It specifically uses the shell casings that are left behind at scenes to track where those guns are being used. And it's all part of the Criminal Gun Intelligence Center. This cannot be acceptable and, and, and tolerated in our city. It was one of the most violent weekends in 2019, shooting after shooting, leaving six dead across the city. I'm just tired of turning TV on and hearing that somebody was just driving down the street and then they just drive by and they just sitting at a stoplight and they get, they get popped for no reason at all. In an effort to cut back on the gun violence, IMPD is launching a new effort called the Crime Gun Intelligence Center, or for short, CJIC. It's a partnership with the Department of Justice and the ATF, and a team of IMPD officers and federal agents are digging into where guns used in crimes are coming from and connecting a gun used in one shooting to other shootings. The concept works by tracking guns used in crimes with the marking that is left on the shell of the casing each time the gun is fired. It's like a fingerprint and no two guns leave the same marking. Detectives collect shell casings at crime scenes and track them in a nationwide database called NIBIN to connect crimes across the city and even across the country. The center also tracks guns all the way back to when they were first purchased. But does it actually work? The concept has been implemented in other cities across the country, and we went digging into the numbers. So far in those cities like Denver, Phoenix, Houston, and Milwaukee, it's helping put shooters behind bars, but it does take time. I think it's changing the way we do business in law enforcement. But the community says it's a step in the right direction direction, but they say it also needs to be a community effort. You want the guns out the streets, you need to get the whole community involved, not just this side, this city, that city, all the cities in Indianapolis come together as one. Now, later today, IMPD is holding a community meeting to talk about the Criminal Gun Intelligence Center, and we're told it already has put some shooters behind bars in the city of Indianapolis. We'll have coverage of that coming up later today. For now, we're live downtown. Paris LaBelle, RTV6. Paris, thank you.